everyone, I'm Alexta96, or Taylor Denna, whatever you know me by, and today I wanted to make a tutorial on how I make storyboards and animatics. This is not the only way to do this, and I am not an expert. I just want to share what I've learned so far, and I hope to make more when I learn more. So the first thing you want to do is figure out the size of the video you want. Since I make storyboards to primarily put on YouTube, the size of my canvas would be 350 pixels per inch and 1250 by 720 pixels. Next, go to Window and scroll down and click on Timeline. Once you do, there will be a new window on the bottom of the screen that should say Create Video Timeline or Create Frame Animation. If it's on the Create Frame Animation, simply go to the arrow key and click on Create Video Timeline. Then click on the tab. What you'll see are two sections. One is layers, what you'll be drawing on, and one is the audio track where you can put mp3 files. Create a simple white background layer if you don't automatically have one. We'll keep this on the bottom of all our actual drawing layers, and this can be changed later on if you don't want your storyboard to be just white. The most basic technique and the building block of all other effects is a simple frame by frame. Make a new layer and start drawing what you want your first frame to be. Put this layer above the background so it shows up. Be careful not to draw on the background layer itself. After that, create the next frame by making a new layer. Make sure to put it on top of the first layer. Go back to the first layer and lower the opacity so it's easier to draw the next frame with similar proportions. Again, be very careful about which layer that you draw on. Now for adjusting the timing. Go ahead and return to the first layer to 100% opacity. Click and hold the end of the first layer in the video timeline and drag it with your mouse or drawing pen to make the frame shorter or longer for the final video. Push the space bar or click on the play icon and you'll see that the track is moving. You can see how the timing looks by hitting play, pausing it with either the pause button or the space bar again, and then adjusting the layer's length. Note. This only works if at least one of your layers, background included, is a different length than the others. Next, we'll do the same thing for our second frame. Go to the second layer in the video timeline, and this time, adjust the front of the frame until it sits right where the first frame ends. Then, adjust the right end of the second frame for however long you want that frame to show. Play around with the play and pause, adjusting the first and second layers, until you're satisfied by how it looks. If you want to have a more polished look to your storyboard or animatic, this is a great method. I take the first two layers I worked on and put them into one separate group. Create a new layer, then click and drag the second layer into the same row the first layer is in. This will be called a rough sketch group. You can create a new layer after dragging the second layer to the first row, but it takes a little more time to separate it from the first group. Next. Go to the Rough Sketch Group icon and lower the opacity. The first and second layer should both be equally semi-transparent. The third layer should be positioned and cropped just like the first frame. If you can't see the right end of the third frame, click and drag the Timeline Zoom icon to zoom in or out. New layers tend to be a set size and appear right where the tracker is resting, so keep that in mind. Draw to the quality you want the final video to be. Create a fourth layer, adjust it just like the second, and do the same thing. Now, drag the fourth layer into the row of the third layer to make one group, the polished group. You want to keep your layers organized into groups so you can easily locate a frame that needs adjusting, make a whole group semi-transparent or invisible, and generally for time's sake. What you can do with the first group is make it invisible so only the polished frames in the second group show or keep it semi-transparent or opaque, depending on the style that you want. If you want to put an extra flair to your simple frame-by-frame -frame animatic, a bounce adds a lot of movement without much effort. All you need to do is copy and paste your drawing from your second frame, and a new frame will pop up. For me, it usually pops up right at the very beginning of the video timeline, and depending on how long your storyboard is, you may need to scroll a little bit until you find it. Take this third frame and place it on top of the second frame. You'll notice that it may not align exactly like the second frame, 
So hold Ctrl T on the third layer and match both frames. Next, select the drawing on the third layer and hold Shift, then click and drag the center of the side you want to stretch. Because this character is moving upwards, I will stretch her upwards. A good rule of thumb is to stretch according to the direction your character is moving, otherwise it would look confusing. Now hold the end of the third layer and squish it up as small as possible to the left. This will be our smear frame, so it needs to be fast in order for the eye to register it as movement. Now take the third layer and put it in between the first and the second layer in the same row. It will push the second layer a little bit to the right, so just trim the end of the second layer to match the time it's supposed to end. If you're all done with your storyboard, all you need to do is go to File, Export, then Render Video. I don't mess around with the settings much, so I keep it at these settings. You can adjust where you want the video to be rendered, and what format you want it in, such as MP3 or MOV. The length of the storyboard may affect the time it takes for Photoshop to render it. And that's all for now! There's a lot more tutorial videos like these I'll make in the future, explaining how to color, do complex movements and such, so stick around for more awesome content! I have a Patreon, link in the description, where you can see sneak peeks of my art and YouTube videos before they're posted. I also have an Etsy where you can commission me to make some awesome art for you! Thank you all for watching and I hope this helped!